Merhabalar, ben Sercan. Welcome back, guys. Today, we're going to talk about the accusative case in more detail. And we're going to talk about the accusative case of the nouns. Let's remember the accusative case suffixes first. They are ı, i, u, and ü, depending on the vowel harmony. These are vowels. That means, depending on to which word they're attached to, there might be a buffer letter in between the word and the suffix. And this buffer letter is y. We can also expect a consonant mutation since the suffixes are vowels. Accusative case means that we are talking about something specific. This case makes the nouns and the pronouns the direct object of the sentence. So, basically, the element of the sentence which is affected directly by the verb. But, in Turkish sentences, there are definite and indefinite direct objects. Indefinite direct objects refer to something unspecific. For example, ben kitap okudum. Ben kitap okudum, which means I read a book. In this sentence, kitap is the indefinite direct object of the sentence. It is not specific. We do not know which book it is. However, when we talk about a specific book and when we want to say I read the book, then we must add the accusative case suffix to the direct object of the sentence to make it definite, specific. Ben kitabı okudum. Ben kitabı okudum, which means I read the book. A is the last vowel of the word kitap and according to the vowel harmony, the word should receive ı suffix. And because of the consonant mutation rule, p at the end of the word changes into b. So it becomes kitabı. Kitabı. When we say ben kitabı okudum, we are talking about a specific book. It becomes the book. It is a definite direct object and the listener knows exactly which book you're talking about. That is why this case can also be named as specifying object condition because it makes the object specific. Now, let's see some examples. Arabayı satın aldın mı? Arabayı satın aldın mı? Which means, did you buy the car? Araba receives the ı accusative case suffix together with the buffer letter y since it ends in a vowel. And the person who is asking the question already knows which car it is. So the speaker and the listener have already talked about this car and because of that the speaker is asking this question. Did you buy the car? Arabayı satın aldın mı? If the question was, araba satın aldın mı? Araba satın aldın mı? In this case, this question wouldn't be about a specific car. Biz evi satıyoruz. Biz evi satıyoruz. Which means we are selling the house. So the house is specific. The listener knows exactly which house it is. Another example. Filmi bu akşam seyredelim. Filmi bu akşam seyredelim. Which means let's watch the movie tonight. Again, film receives the accusative case suffix because we are talking about a specific movie. The speaker and the listener know exactly which movie it is. They have already decided which movie they would watch. If we make the sentence like this, Bu akşam film seyredelim. Bu akşam film seyredelim. In this case, the direct object film has no accusative case suffix. This means the movie 
is not specific. It has not been chosen yet. It is a movie. It has not become the movie yet. Now, I would like to point out something else. When I form the sentence with an indefinite direct object, I change the place of the word in the sentence and set it right before the verb. Bu akşam film seyredelim. Bu akşam film seyredelim. The indefinite direct object, which is without the accusative case suffix, always and always comes before the verb of the sentence. You cannot add another word in between the indefinite direct object and the verb except for a couple of things. So it is not possible to say film bu akşam seyredelim. Film bu akşam seyredelim. This is incorrect and it sounds very weird to the ear of a native speaker. But what you can say is something like this. Bu akşam film de seyredelim. Bu akşam film de seyredelim. Which means tonight let's watch a movie as well. So let's finish this video with this example. Videoyu izlediğiniz için çok teşekkürler. Videoyu izlediğiniz için çok teşekkürler. Which means thanks a lot for watching the video. Video has received the accusative case suffix because we are talking about a specific video. This video which you know and you have been watching. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for your time. See you in the next videos. Görüşmek üzere.